Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Subtracting polynomials. If you were looking at the, um, the lesson on adding polynomials, you will notice that the expression is no different from the adding polynomials lesson. The only difference is the subtraction sign. This subtraction sign prevents us from just removing the brackets. Before we remove the brackets, okay, we must distribute the negative within brackets. Okay, so what we're doing is we're really multiplying this negative inside the bracket. But here's here's a, a, a um, a quicker tip. What we're going to do is, because there is no negative with this first set of brackets, this first set of brackets we can just write as follows. x squared plus 4x minus 2. This second set of brackets, what we're going to do is, we are going to reverse the signs. So in other words, this x squared here, 2x squared, is positive inside the brackets. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it negative. This negative x squared is negative inside the brackets, but because we reverse it, it becomes positive 6x. And this positive 9, the reverse, is minus 9. Now really what we did was we treated this negative as if it was really a negative 1. Okay? So this negative 1 really we distributed just like we would using the distributive law. Negative times 2x squared becomes negative 2x squared. Negative times negative 6x will give me positive 6x. Negative times positive 9 will give me negative 9. And now, what do we do with the rest? Well, same as we did with adding polynomials. We are just going to collect like terms. Okay? And remember that like terms have the same variable. Or no variable at all. Same variable and the same thing with the, um, the exponents. So, even though we have an x and a 4x, the x's are not considered like terms because this is x squared and this really means x to the power of 1. So this x squared is a like term with negative 2x squared. This positive 4x is a like term with positive 6x. And this negative 2 is a like term with negative 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to collect the like terms and rewrite them collected x squared minus 2x squared. Positive 4x, positive 6x. Negative 2 and negative 9. And now notice here, my first two terms, one underlined, double underlined, triple underlined meaning those are my like terms. And remember that when we are collecting the like terms, and once we've collected what our like terms are, we are just adding, okay, we are adding the numbers, and we are keeping the letters the same. Okay, so thus, this x squared stays. So really, we have a 1 here in front. Whenever we don't have a number in front of the letter, it means that we have the number 1. So the 1 minus the 2 is going to give me a negative x squared or a negative 1x squared. But some of your math teachers might, um, might not condone of the 1 in front of the x squared. Okay, 
we have 4, positive 4, plus 6, which will give me positive 10. But remember, the variable stays the same. The variables do not get changed. And then minus 2, minus 9 will give me a negative 11. So therefore, when we are subtracting these two polynomials, or trinomials, should we say, we get the following expression. Negative x squared plus 10x minus 11.